So the Bayern boys have came out and we have a new guy today. Actually, we have two new guys, uh, Philip Lamb and Ben Boyton. Philip Lamb, right back, played DMF2. I wanted a micro man, but we got the fullback version. His booster is to speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina, which makes his card very interesting. I've been trying to level him up here and I think I found a pretty good build. So just keep in mind that this website doesn't have boosters on at the moment. It'll take a few hours for them to get there so add on an extra two to speed uh, acceleration balance and stamina the reason i've got it like this is i'm trying to get a lot of the stats above 85 so you get a plus three boost from having pep or chabby alonso also if i can get the balance up to 85 it goes to 88 and then when he gets plus two from the booster it'll go to 90 he'll be very well rounded physically there so that's the build i'm going for it's kind of hard to get all his defensive stats up to 90 you're gonna have to just sacrifice the aggression uh, it won't be too big of an issue though with form legend b form it'll go up to 90 and even if it doesn't he's a small player small defenders usually don't need the aggression as high i feel like their acceleration will kind of put down that uh, space in terms of his on the ball qualities if we take the booster off for a sec you can see um what i'm kind of doing there's only two stats you can really get above 85 here so i went for tight possession and a lofted pass it's mainly for the low passing you know you have to get a loft we might as well get a lofted pass if we can get it there really nimble on the ball now these extra three points, what can you do with them? You can put them into physical, I guess. You could put them into shooting. Uh, 70 finishing is actually kind of the level where I feel like finishing kind of gets decent. You know, not for a striker or a winger, but a centre mid or a right back. 70 finishing is pretty good. I still probably wouldn't recommend it. Although, if you do do that, his curl will go up too. And curl is important for passing. So yeah, I don't think I would go to sh shooting. So you've got these extra points, maybe into balance, get one extra. So then you'll have 94 acceleration, 91 balance. But I feel like then you've got one point left, it's doing nothing. So you could, uh, let me take off the balance again. So you have the three points. So like I said, I was getting the lofted pass to 85 for the 86 low pass. You probably could just go without the lofted pass, keep it to 85. Then you've got the uh, point left. And then with that point, you can actually go into defending get them all to 90 or alternatively get that acceleration higher they would be really nimble i don't really recommend worrying too much about acceleration for defensive players speed is more important than acceleration for defenders the opposite for attackers although when he's on the ball you know if you're trying to play it at the back do a one two be uh, pretty effective at that then the last point can go into aerial we look at his skills and then what skills i'd recommend that does depend on where you're playing them playing them fullback or dmf so if you're playing them fullback i think i'd rather have blocker on them now i might still go on them at dmf i think it's more important for the uh fullback skills that needs to go on them double touch if he's fullback if he's dmf probably not probably go gamesmanship instead blocker acrobatic clearance i don't i don't think so. i don't think he needs major skills he's kind of got most of them hasn't he he's got fighting spirit yeah he's got most of the skills he is missing man marking and track back so you could probably put them on actually you know i, I would recommend them uh, if he's playing in dmf uh, or fullback i think i'd put man marking and uh, track back on him because he's kind of got most of the skills so then you're kind of just curious is it double touch or like gamesmanship you're putting on them like double touch with your dmf you probably don't have the room for it so you want gamesmanship but with your fullback you have plenty of space and you're usually beating a winger who can't defend so uh the double touch would be good there maybe soul control as well just for uh, setting up the passes because that weighted pass low lofted pass combo is amazing moving on to the next player van boyton he's pretty simple to build he's got his boost into the awareness tackling jumping and acceleration even though it's very low if you look at his skills the most important one that he doesn't have is interception he definitely needs that also he has a few shooting skills but he doesn't have long range shooting which is what he'll be you know taking more often than not if he is shooting but you can see his kick and pair is decent but he does need long range shooting his build is very easy it's very simple pretty much he's a pure destroyer he's just gonna collect the ball and hoof it back up give it to someone else who's uh, better on the ball he is 197 centimeters tall as well so if you're thinking all right that jumping looks a bit low don't worry about it because it's kind of you know balance of if he's really tall he doesn't need jumping so yeah i wouldn't worry about that uh, low jumping and that's why i didn't really level it too high it was always going to be either mateus or gerard as the best box to box in the game gerard's stats looked amazing but his skills were a bit disappointing and uh, mateus skills aren't disappointing though there is a couple he's missing but we'll uh, get into that in a sec when you're looking at mateus his defense he's got a bit of a boost in defensive stats which is really good because if you get him to eight defending You'll see every stat is above 85 so you're gonna get a plus three the question is do you want to make your mateus attacking orientated or defensive orientated so i've got the two builds here so starting off with the attacking one 
and um, here's the build and here's the kind of justification for it but the reason it's attacking is you're going into dexterity getting the dexterity stats above 85 so you get the acceleration and balance above 85 and then when you get the boost it'll go 89 and 88 so he'll feel very because he's not that tall he's only 173 centimeters so if you're very nimble on the ball you have got a bit of dribbling a ball control and type possession thing is here with the passing you can get the lofted pass to 85 uh, with only seven in if you want to get to 85 low pass you have to invest a good bit of points though because look once you go above eight so it's costing me two points to go from seven to eight it's going to cost me three points to go from eight to nine so you'd have to put a lot of points in and that's this is the attacking build so if you do that you don't have the finishing too high so i would recommend keeping it uh down there and then going in with the shooting you're going to be just below 80 but he's on be on b4 most of the time so you're going to get that to 80. the defensive build let me switch to the tab so the defensive build is pretty similar it's just it's the same method defending it's just you're going more into the lower body and with this lower body you'll have 90 speed you'll always have obviously have all the defensive stats above 90. you'll have 98 stamina now is this build better and um, it's pretty much the same it's the same dribbling similar passing a little bit less but the low, low pass is the 84 which is the most important thing i think 84 low pass is kind of where this is after the booster obviously 84 is kind of where players get consistent and um, now he doesn't have any finishing i don't know he just i feel like he'll be too i feel like too bulky or like look he's not gonna be bad but i would rather the more nimble build where you have a little bit of more uh acceleration so he can drive with him on the ball is he better than his old cards uh i'd say yes like this is the other mateus card most people would have he is better um like the defensive stats are all above 90 here because you got when you get the booster a little bit below on the tackling it's not a major difference and uh, ball control is like a lot worse but the tie possession and the dribbling are at a similar level he has got better passing on this one and uh, the shooting's kind of you know depending on which build you go for shooting is uh the same but if you look at the physical stats it's a lot different like 74 speed versus 88 there and 82 then acceleration 84 versus uh only 85 on this one but 89 on that one then the balance is uh the balance is actually the same uh on this uh old Mateus compared to the um defensive build i gave but the defensive one's a bit worse but overall i do think it's uh, better it's a worthy upgrade probably John, this is one of the few ones where it might be worth it. Uh, usually I don't recommend the boosters uh, compared to the big times. As an upgrade, he be, will be a bit different. What skills would you put on him? I mean, it's kind of similar to Gerard. The first one you have to put is uh, long range shooting. And Mateus without long range shooting, I don't understand Konami. Uh, after that, uh, probably low lofted pass. The way it pass, low lofted pass combo is amazing. Then maybe a double touch, just so you can, you know, in the center mid, Having double touch is really important because when you do a double touch, you kind of take up a lot of space. Like you, you press the ball forward really quickly. I think a uh, double touch would be kind of perfect on Mateus. I'm, I'll probably put pinpoint crossing on him if I go for him. Uh, just because I like playing that drilled low cross into the strikers. Probably not necessary. After that, I'm thinking maybe a track back or acrobat clearance blocker. You kind of cover most of his bases, so you can kind of go a few different directions. If you're going for the attacking build, yeah, gamesmanship might be good enough. Cut behind and turn will be good if you go for the lofted pass too, because a cut behind and turn and into a lofted pass and switch the ball, switch the flank is really good. So yeah, he's got, a, he's got a lot of options. I can't give like a definitive five you need to put on him. I've listed like three or four there that probably should go on him. Definitely long range shooting just because it's Mateus. Uh, but the, 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 you know, when you're picking your fourth and fifth skill, it's going to be a choice of uh, what skills you have available and which build you go for. But uh, yeah, I think, I might, I think I'm going to spin for these guys. I, I'm not going to do it now, but uh, I think um, when I come home from college tomorrow, I might, uh, I might give these guys a spin. I think they're actually a good pack. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching.